Hi friends, hope you're doing well. So what's the best formula to develop a story and write a screenplay? Well, that's that's the most uh, debatable question. But the short answer is if there is a formula that can shut your mouth and if you can write for hours, that's the best one, right? So if you have already that, I think you can skip this and continue to write. But if you are still curious, like how I develop my story, then please continue. So in this video, I want to share my custom process, like how I develop my story and write screenplay. It's quite haphazard, not for people who wants to go linear fashion. If, you, if you're kind of a person who wants to write from A to B and B to C, maybe you may not like this formula, but it's working for me uh, for a couple of reasons, because I like non-linear drama. I have made short films based on non-linear drama. Uh, link in the description if you want to check out my films. What I find with myself is like when I when I get the idea, uh, they come in a very uh, random fashion. OK, I think like dots. Um, I get ideas as a dots. They are not connected and they are quite random. And inspiration comes from the various sources. OK, uh, it comes from various situations, talking with people, with observations. And it doesn't come in week. It comes over the period of long time. So the point I'm trying to make is ideas or the complete story it's not like one form of uh, sequential thing and that's why i figured out with my custom process is that i couldn't write sequentially uh, if i write like from a to b and b to c either i would lose motivation or i would end up with my uh, writing block so what i do uh, is a two-part process so one is when i get the idea i just write without worrying about structure or spelling or grammar i call it uh, creative vomit uh, mostly it's driven by i call adrenaline points so if something is exciting could be situations or character i just continue to write without worrying about uh, any grammar or i even don't edit right and i let it marinate that idea and the surrounding stuff for over a week I sleep with those ideas, uh, morning is the best time, I wake up with revised ideas, I write, it's, it's a lot of iteration and then I think about okay where they belong to and usually at, this, at the end of this process some kind of image uh, starts to emerge in my mind, uh, I think about my ending and beginning first, so how my story would start and how it will end, so I think about um, opening and closing image so those images are quite opposite how your story will start and by the time it ends it should be exactly opposite so i write my beginning and end first and then i take my raw material and i try to fit in where they belong to maybe it's part of the subplot maybe act one act two beginning of the act one and i try to make a sequence it may not be sequential thing so i i try to create that structure and by the end of that process, there will be a skeleton. Overall, it will look like, okay, how the story will flow uh, in, a, in a very rough manner. And then I continue that process till I get the proper sequence. And then the next part come is how I write my scene. So again, every scene has their own beginning, middle and end. If I know exactly what I want from the situations or, or from my character, I write the end first. And I go back, write middle and beginning. And sometimes one of the situations or adrenaline point might fit into in the middle of the scene. Then I think about how did I reach here? How my character reached here? What sort of choices he made at the beginning of the scene or maybe in the previous scene that he ended up here. And then I write the beginning. Think about the ending like I have this beginning, I have this middle. Now what are the possibilities to end this scene? What are the powerful possibilities? And how it's going to affect my character from overall arc, how it's going to affect the overall story, not just the next scene, but all the scene, all the following scenes. And I iterate this process for all of the scenes and I intertwine them. It's it's haphazard, I know. It's It may be weird, but as I told, whatever works uh, in terms of formula that can help you to connect the dots, that's the best formula. Thank you for watching.